Hi guys, and welcome back to the heated garage. It is friggin' hot in California. I'm sweating my butt off. So, it's even hot out here in the garage. We have a little bit of a breeze, which makes it better than being inside the house, but it's still pretty hot. But now that the sun's going down, hopefully things will get better. So, anyway, today is the 1st of September. September. And so I thought I would do, uh, I'm going to do my giveaway draws. I'm going to do my August wrap up with decks and such. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do an unboxing. So without further ado, I already have here my little container. Um, and oops, it's the other way around. Of course, it's a coffin. It's a coffin. Yes, because of course you know me, the creepy girl always has to have the coffin. So I thought what a, a, a perfect uh, vessel for our, our little giveaway here. So I'm going to make sure I didn't dump anybody out by accident there, so I didn't. Okay, so the names that I have in here are going to be for the, um, the Oracle of Shadows deck. The Oracle of Shadows deck. Um, I think we had, I had about 14 people, so I'm just going to reach in here and move things around, and here we go. This is our winner. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Veronica Rose. Veronica Rose. Sweetheart, yes, you have this lovely oracle of shadows, bless your soul. There you go. So Veronica Rose has won the oracle of shadows. The oracle of shadows. Oh, I'm so excited for Veronica. All right, now here's, here's my second batch. And this is for the, this is for the Halloween deck the Halloween deck here and we had I had about 23 people um, who uh, signed up for that one so 23 folks you can see I'm giving it a good get my big old fat arm wiggle wiggle fat arm <laughs> all right so I'm not gonna look and I'm gonna just pick a name okay here we go. This is the winner for the Halloween Tarot. <gasps> Gargoyle Mistress. Gargoyle Mistress. Okay, you guys. So Veronica and Gargoyle, leave me a message. Get a hold of me so I can give you my email and um, I can find out your address and I can send you your lovely prizes. So there you have it, folks. My very first giveaway. I'm so excited. Congratulations to... Veronica and Gargoyle. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much everybody for participating. It was uh, it was a lot of fun for me to do this and I'm sure there will be more along the way. So um, moving on. Okay, August. August was shit. <laughs> Let's just say it. Let's just put it like it is. Everybody's saying the same thing, basically. It was a crap-ass month. I'm telling you what. So I had a card buying ban, card books buying ban for the month of August. Yeah, that that did not go, didn't go well at all. Nope, 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 nope. So this is actually what ended up uh, happening was that... Um, I ended up uh, having a meltdown about the middle of August. And I said, to hell with it, because there were four decks that were like 35 to 45% off. And so I went hog wild and I bought them. So I got the uh, Druid Animal Oracle. Yeah, I don't, I don't have them out here to show you because they were just... The stack was just too big to haul from where I keep them all the way out here in the garage. So I'm just going to tell you about it. But you all know the Druid Animal Oracle, the Oracle of Shadows, and the Oracle of Nightmares. So I did buy those two 
decks off Etsy because, um, you know, uh, those are like limited and if you don't get them, they're gone. So uh, I bought those two. But uh, anyway, Druid Animal was uh, like 40% off. I bought uh, Divine Legacy, Oracle of Vision, both Cyril Marchetti, Marchetti uh, Oracle decks. And then I got Shapeshifters and Shadows and Light, which are um, Lucy Cavendish decks. So, um, yeah, those were the four, Cyril Marchetti and Marchetti, Marchetti, um, and the Lucy Cavendish decks were both like, they were all like 45% off. And so I couldn't turn down that deal. So I, I did do that. Um, that was on the, the Oracle side of the house. Now the tarot side of the house, that also got a little freaky too. Cause once I, I busted things, I just said to heck with it. So, uh, I did order my deck, the, the Mons Tarot, the beginning of August because, I saw Joanna Nelson only had one copy of it on her her website and I was afraid that was the last copy and she's getting very close to the end but it wasn't the end but I bought it anyway um, somebody else had mentioned to me about uh, creepy decks and stuff so um, I bought the <coughs> Bohemian Gothic deck um, because again apparently with this one if you don't get it it's gone so I got that one of course I bought my Halloween deck um, and then I found another one that was called the Wild Moon Deck. Uh, it's all about the moon and its lunar phases and every day you flip to a different, uh, different moon and it tells you different things about it. So I got that. Uh, then of course Simon saw the borderless rider wait or somebody did in, uh, for love of cards and, uh, well, I gotta had that. And that brought me on to the, you know, Triomphe de la Luna purple, uh, thanks to seeing Dead Cheeky's blue, um, you know. And then, of course, more Rider Waite Smith, but that doesn't really count, the, uh, the Pamela and Coleman Smith deck, so I got that. Um, there was also a mini Tarot of the Mermaids, had never seen it before. It was the only one I could find, and so, yeah, I bought that. So, uh, consequently, I ended up buying, <laughs> I ended up buying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tarot decks and eight oracle decks. I got to stop this. I have got to stop this. September. We're not doing this in September. I swear I am not doing this unless it's, if it's an indie deck that I know has got limited copies, that's fine. If it's a Rider Waite Smith I like, that's fine, you know, because we've agreed on that. But I can't do any more of these mass market paperbacks and, and until I rein myself in here because I've got now, I've been doing this since, um, I've been back into the tarot since mid-April, and this is August, and I already have like 60 decks. So, yeah, yeah. So that's how August went. So we're going to try again in September. We're going to try and be good in September. But anyway, one of the decks uh, that I got that is a, uh indie deck that I just, I just happened to come across, it's called the Azucar bone oracle azucar bone and it's by art by zaharu zaharu i think is his name megan well the artist is megan weber but it's called art by zaharu so there's that and then i thought it was kind of cute that the back of the deck is a magician uh it comes in this lovely package that is stamped and there's a little thank you on the back here so let's see let's see if I can even get the the string off here with without cutting it uh, yes okay good that's a good thing um, very nicely wrapped 
very nicely wrapped. I am a terrible package wrapper. Terrible package wrapper. Don't ask me to wrap your Christmas presents at Christmas. Ooh. So, here it is. The Azucar Bone Oracle Deck. And it is, um, it says, Artist Megan Weber Zaharo draws inspiration from the colors and style of Dia de los Muertos and mixes it with the Wheel of the Year to create a deck that celebrates life and death. Allow the animals featured in this deck to bring you inspiration and messages to help clarify your daily energies. When I saw this on Etsy, I mean, it was just, um, lefties must use right-handed scissors upside down. Little tip for those of you who don't know this. That's the only way to get right-handed scissors to work for a lefty. How about that? Okay. Off with the plastic. Oh. It's got nothing to, so you kind of got to shake the box here. All right. We have a little guidebook here. Companion guide. Uh, forward. Um, Wheel of the Year cards, focus cards, animal messenger cards, and that's it. So it pretty much tells you how to, um, what the meanings of the cards are. No, I had it right to begin with. I hate it when I do that. Okay. There we go. Oh gosh, these cards are so nice. Oh wow, they feel nice. They're slick, but not too slick. And the cardstock is really good. This has probably got to be at least 310, I betcha. At least 310. Anyway, they're they're minimal cards, but they're still they're I thought beautiful. Ooh. So here's the back, the back of the cards which I think are the spirit animals. And so here we go. So we have gift, growth, fog. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but the word is also up here. Compass. Clarity. Aren't these beautiful? Just a just a pop of color, but it's enough to get the the point across. Okay, this is like totally my favorite. There it is, the lion. That's totally totally me. Dolphin. These are the Sabbath cards. The A. Look at all this. I love it. It's minimal, but it's enough to get across um, what it means. I love these. These are just, they're even better in person than they were on the screen. Uh, you can find these through Etsy. Ooh. Stara. Look at the Samhain card. Samhain, my favorite time of year. My favorite time of year. He's beautiful. So, there they are. I'm not sure it doesn't say how many how many cards here, but 
Let's see. Let's give the old deck a shuffle here. And the cards are slick. They're, they're, it's, a, it's a small deck. Um, the cards are, you know, bigger than the palm of my hand. But I happen to actually like shuffling oversized decks. So, um, yep, we'll, we'll see here. Whoa. Okay. So we have the masculine. We have the stag. What do we need to know about masculine energies here? Let's see. No, no, no cards. Oop. What is this? Oh, masculine. Strong and rugged, a driving force, stags with their grand antlers and proud stance and body of form of masculinity. Connect your masculine side. Use your physical or internal power to drive forward. Use this power to help others or help yourself on your path. Hello. That's a holler out to me, all right. So there you have it, guys. It is the... Uh, a Zucar Bone Oracle deck. You can find it at Etsy. Um, I think this was great. And that is my deck unboxing and my deck updates for the month of August. Oh boy, I hope September is a, a much quieter month than August was. Uh, congratulations again to Sweet Love Veronica Rose and Gargoyle Mistress 30. All right. Much love, guys. We'll see you next time.